Robotastic, Sleep Mode, by Sari Karplus. Hazel had never liked bedtime at all. Come nightfall, she'd stall like a snail on the wall. You see, sleep for sweet Hazel meant ending the day, which never went well with her big plans to play. Snarting stay up late mode. She and her robot, named Ada Marie, would sing and do cartwheels and watch more TV. Me, 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 me. Hazel could always invent more to do, and Ada, by golly, was up for this too. Should we make fondue? Yay-hoo! Where Hazel's mom looked oh so defeated. Just try and sleep, love, she patiently pleaded. Snuggles with mom were always the best. But who'd doze off first? Hmm, I bet you could guess. Powering down is so easy for bots. Unlike our hero, so busy with thoughts. Ideas, thoughts, plans. Your friends who are human, what makes them get sleepy? Ada inquired from inside their teepee. I love the idea of asking my friends. Their advice always leads to such positive ends. So she gathered the bot squad the very next day. They'd surely have pointers to offer her way. Send meeting invitation to the bot squad. Alf, Jake, Kayla. (laughs) Bot squad! I need some new tricks, guys, that lead me to snoozing. What tips do you have that you all are using? I know just the thing that does it for me. My mom makes me honey and chamomile tea. Have you ever tried playing some super calm tunes? Or clearing your brain thoughts like popping balloons? My dad says squeeze off an hour before bed. It's no fun, but I swear it helps sleepiness spread. The call got derailed when a cat's tush appeared and with Jake trying on his eighth style of beard. The kids were now laughing and the robots all cheered. They finished their call and said their goodbyes. Thank goodness, thought Hazel. My friends are so wise. She loved every one of the bot squad's suggestions. Now Hazel felt ready to try these directions. Sleep plan, phase one, drink tea. When evening had come, she started phase one. Her drink was delicious. Pardon the pun. Clearing her spirited mind was phase two. From her brain to the paper, her thoughts quickly flew. Are unicorns really magical? I want pancakes for breakfast. How fast are reindeer? What rhymes with orange besides gorge? Smorge? Lorange? Sponge? Corange? Phase three was to read a short book and wind down and snuggle in bed in her comfy nightgown. For the next and last phase, Hazel programmed her friend to sing her a song with no actual end. Snarting phase four. Only robots can pull off this dull lullaby, so Ada sang softly, me, 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 the digits of pi. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one. But before she could finish her numeric ode, both the girl and her bot had dropped off to sleep mode a lullaby leading to sweet sounds of snoring. We think we just learned of the best kind of boring. So next time you struggle to get to dreamland, get comfy, get bored, and have your friends lend a hand. For more information about the series of Robotastic Books, go to www.robotasticbook.com. 
Why did the humans count sheep before bed? To avoid a bad night's sleep.